Okay, welcome to the second video and uh, we're one day further and today as you can see the top coat has cured and we will uh, sand it down with quite a coarse paper to even out all the bumps and to, to flatten it. Uh, if necessary we will put extra bondo on it to, to make it more smooth and after that we will put the final coat on it. So uh, let's go! Okay, so um, the rough sanding is finished, I did it with the machine and as you can see um, I left over all the details since it's better to do this by hand, you can, you can finer uh, sand it and it's, it's better to, to spare the details. Um, there was a little bit of orange peel during the spray, during the painting, but in fact it was um, beneficial for us since it's better to see the low spots and to use it as a sanding guide while sanding. So this will be done by hand. And with a little bit of luck, um, we maybe don't even need to put a second coating on it since we never went through the coating, so there's no um, putty visible. Um, so if we, we will clean it and then we will see um, how far we do. just finished it with sanding with 180 and then 400 and as you can see um, I think we don't need a second coat there are some small um, sanding throughs but it's not that bad um, now we will use a 400 and a sanding guide uh, to see the small scratches and then maybe we can sand a little bit more uh, but keep in mind it's a one of a kind so if there are some scratches left it's not so bad after all you can still uh, remove the scratches in the mold or on the final part. Yeah, and so most important thing is we won't need to apply a second coat because yeah. the first coat was pretty heavy like when I sprayed it yesterday and um, that way we are lucky we can just finish it off with one layer and proceed directly to, mi to making the mold. It with, uh, with a sanding paper of 800 and overall we are quite happy with it. The only part that needs to be fixed is this small part. We will put some putty on it, then sand a little and then we can uh, make the flanges and make the mold. Okay, so we're taping it off uh, to prevent damage on uh, the already finished part. It will be easier to, um, to put the putty on and to sand it later on. And now when it's nicely mixed, I'm going to put some uh, Mac P harders. It's not Mac P, but it's something similar. Uh, it's also polyester with a catholic. Um, and then we're gonna put it on the mold. It's like, as an advice, never buy polyester resin 
<laughs> when it's including with a paste, like you should always have like drops or percentages to add. It's mostly in the DIY stores they will sell you like one liter of, of polyester resin for about I think it's 30 euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very expensive. So it's better to search online and get the right products the okay. right way. Okay, so I don't need that much, so this will be enough. I'm gonna put it here on the mixing board. And then it's it, it, it's not an exact science, but just like a little. I think normally they say it's a this P for the shape of a golf ball. This will be enough, I guess, right? Yeah, I think maybe you can do even more because yeah, it, it will cure faster. Just the more you use, the faster it will go. Yeah. And then I clean this one with the other one, it's easier. Mix it good. There we go. Oops. Hmm. So how much time do you have now? I guess like 10 minutes, maybe a little less. No, in fact, the, the working time is only one minute, uh, and it will it will be fully hardened after fifteen minutes, something like this. Yeah, but we will put the infrared heaters on top. Yeah, it will be go even faster then. And the tape is just to prevent it to trip on the edges, mm -hmm. so the cleanup is easier to do. I'm just gonna put a little bit more so we can send it away instead of putting a second coat of putting. The flange is finished now and uh, we're gonna put some uh, filleting wax on the edges to make a smooth uh, transition between the, the flange and the part and also to make sure we don't have uh, undercut otherwise it will be uh, really difficult to remove the mold. Um, of course you need to apply uh, some release agent like a five, five layer, layers or something uh, on the part um, to make sure that it's um, getting off. If you always want to be up to date with new videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well to get notifications when new videos are being uploaded. If you want to support me, the best way is giving this video a like.